Bud, what was your favorite hire? So I, my favorite hire, I think, was was Kenny Dillingham to Arizona State. Maybe not the best hire, but I think it's my favorite for a couple of reasons. One, Herm Edwards left a smoking crater coming out of Tempe. Like that, that program is not in good shape, or at least it was not. They really didn't recruit the high school level at all over the last few years. They, they weren't good. And so they are set up for a long rebuild. And I think if, if you're going to take a guy as young as Dillingham, who is the youngest head coach in college football, I'm barely certain now, he's going to need some runway. He's probably going to make a couple of mistakes, but he's an Arizona State guy. That's a job I know for a long time that he has really kept an eye on. I think he's going to try to do a good job connecting with the local high schools. If you're going to go and hire the guy who really wants the job, the, the native son, if you will, I think going and taking a, a young dude like that, giving him some time to make some mistakes and make some improvements along the way. There's not going to be a lot of pressure to win early at Arizona State, given how bad that they've been and how the administration should at least understand like just how negligent Herm Edwards and those guys were the last couple of years recruiting-wise. And there's a decent chance they get hit with sanctions too, right? So I think having somebody you're going to give a lot of runway to to negotiate it is the right move to make there. So I, I'm going to go kind of Dillingham from Arizona State. Yeah, and it's also my favorite hire. I'm in agreement on it for a lot of those reasons because like, I, we talked about it when all these jobs were coming open about when we were ranking them, like what's the most attractive P5 jobs. And like, Bud, you've talked about too, the amount of people from California that are kind of moving to Arizona and that region, it's a, it's a growing population state, which means the high school talent in that state is going to start improving as these years go on. And Kenny Dillingham's taken over. And like you were saying, he's already kind of started to repair the relationships between Arizona State and those high schools that kind of really deteriorated in the last few years. They're bringing a lot of local kids who left back via the transfer portal. They're kind of, you know, trying to, to try to rebuild those relationships. And I think long term, like I don't think Arizona State's going to be great in the next couple of seasons i think it could get to a bowl game in a year or two but i think that if you try to look at what the plan is here kenny dillingham wanting to be there and wanting to be there for the yeah. long haul and the overall arching kind of picture of what they're trying to do i think that this was one of the best hires it's my favorite hire it's gonna be really interesting for me to watch i can't wait i'm weirdly i've, I've got no stake in this but if Jaden rashada goes to arizona state that's a super fun sort of story to follow in terms of Rashada landing at a place with a young head coach who's done really good job with quarterbacks. Drew Pine is obviously already in there in that quarterback room, but that would be like, as Rashada is looking at his options and what are we thinking? Like Arizona state TCU probably are the, the two front runners there. Am I correct? Yeah. Like secondary options, Washington. I, I could see maybe some kind of sign and day shocker again with, with the buffs don't think so but i guess you can't rule it out they do have a flair for the dramatic there in colorado so i tcu and arizona state i think are the the two most likely at this point yeah if dillingham was able to to land that then i think that that would be the kind of you know big you know sell attraction you know ways that you can continue to uh to promote that program uh moving forward